Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut here. And today I want to talk about is it worth it to go to Blade Show? So stay tuned. Okay guys, I just got back from Blade Show a couple days ago. If you are not familiar with what Blade Show is, it's the largest knife show in the world that takes place once a year in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, it's always like the first weekend of June that it's gonna take place and I have been multiple times and I just need to tell you, like, does it make sense to go? Like, is it worth your time and money as a consumer to go, right? So what I'm gonna say like right out the gate is for me, there's a knife maker that I always hang out with. His name is Clyde Chalinor. Like I just did a review of one of his knives. I always go down because he's gonna come into town. He's from South Africa. So this is only the one time a year I would get a chance to see and hang out with him and learn from him and talk with him and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also like typically we have a group of friends that all come together and we're all into knives and so this is kind of our passion like things that we love and that we're into and so we all get to see each other and we're all from different parts of the country and so we get to hang out so from that standpoint alone i would just say blade show is great to go to just for that reason is to be able to meet up with friends that are like-minded have the same passions all that kind of stuff um because like all the guys that like the chat groups that I'm in, um, this is literally the only time of year that we get to see each other in person as opposed to just talking to each other online in the different chat groups. We get to share our passions, we get to share our knowledge, like that kind of stuff. Um, another big thing is that when you go to Blade Show, you actually have the opportunity to meet makers, not just suppliers, like retailers, suppliers, they're a big part of Blade Show, I get that. Um, but this is also a chance for you to be able to meet makers of knives, like hand makers of knives. They'll have tables all over the place, all different types of blades. They will talk to you. They will tell you how they make their knives, like the process. Like, I will literally tell you, like being able to be with multiple knife makers in one group <clears throat> as they're hanging out and talking to each other and they're exchanging ideas of why they do what they do and how they do it is so educational it's so eye-opening you learn so much about the industry um, you're also finding that there's so many makers that are out there to help each other not just in the business for only helping themselves which they're the you know there's ones out there that only they're literally, literally to help themselves that is going to be the same case in every industry i don't care what the product is right but with the knife industry there are so many guys that are out there making knives that are also exchanging ideas with other knife makers and helping and promoting each other like the community is amazing um so for me like each time i go down typically i would buy a bunch of knives so that i would have them to review over time uh, this time, I will say, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, I stopped by the Nightcore booth. I bought this one because I'm also very heavily into flashlights. I never would have thought that years ago when I first started reviewing flashlights that I could actually get into, <laughs> like enjoy testing out flashlights, but I, but I do. And so this is the second one that I bought, another keychain light from Nightcore. And their prices, and this is kind of hit or miss, depending on what booth you're going to, what company you're going to. Like the Nightcore lights were definitely a good bit cheaper than what you could find online. So for me, that was a huge bonus just because I test and review a lot of stuff. And so if I can save some money, well, like going to Blade Show, and if I can save some money shopping there, then good for me um, next I got a white river knife uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you 
I already tested and reviewed one of their knives. Absolutely loved it. So when I got there, like once again, I could get this for a lesser price than I could have ever get it online. Um, and if you don't know who White River Knives are, that you know, get out from under the rock you're living in and Google it. But I'll probably put a link in the description below. Next is a I got a Ulu. Also came with this and a leather sheath. Um, I've been fascinated by this concept for years just because I know that the indigenous people of Alaska, like that's kind of where the, or that is where the knife came from. Um, and you talk about incredibly well priced. I mean, like you can use this to cut up food, skin animals, like whatever you gotta do, like out camping, hiking, um, but also around the house. It's literally, you're just gonna rock it, right? Or push, cut, whatever it is that you need. Uh, the maker of this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put right here. If you wanna pause it. Um, literally, it was $25 for the knife, that little wood block, and uh, a leather sheath that goes for it. Like, Ulu knives are incredibly useful, but also very inexpensive. So, very happy. Like, I really wanna promote this guy because I think he did a really good job with his and with what he was selling. Um, but also, <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself right now. Um, so if you go to Blade Show, you can hit <laughs> the sticker jackpot. Um, like, I have a crap ton of stickers. Like, everything I own <laughs> is covered in stickers because I just, I just love stickers, uh, but also I'm getting business cards. I'm getting uh, patches, all that kind of stuff. But it's also like I have an opportunity to make connections with makers, retail companies, all that kind of stuff. Um, also, like part of when you, if you go to Blade Show, I learned, like I haven't done a knife review in uh, several years. And so I was kind of not keeping up with the uh, new technology in new blade stills and all that kind of stuff. So being out there, like, you will discover like all the new stills, handle materials, blade designs, all that kind of stuff that's coming out. Um, so it definitely gives you an opportunity to learn more than what you may have thought you knew, right? Like, literally, I'm walking around with Clyde and my buddy Steve and we're talking about like, different knives and different blade stills and i'm looking at them i'm like well what is that still like i haven't heard of that one yet and they're like oh yeah and they would describe to me what this still was why it's important and or if it's worth the hype and or if it's not you know so going to blade show is i would say if you're within a decent drive like i live four hours away from where blade show is being held um but for me like to be able to get down there to meet my friends, meet new makers, listen to why they do what they do and how they do what they do. Like like listening to a knife maker and they describe the procedures and techniques that they use to accomplish what they do as a maker, like and like and their knife designs and how they do it, like it's fascinating. Like, if you're into knives, going to Blade Show is the best thing you could ever do. It's got its quirks, I will say that. Like, this is the first year that I only saw like two people, maybe three in kilts. <laughs> Leading up to that, it was like walking through like the TV show Vikings where like people are like covered in two swords like behind their back and they got knives strapped all over them and they're wearing kilts and like there were some weird people i will say that like i'm uh, not gonna lie um this year was the first year where like literally i did not see almost any of that um unfortunately this year was also the least number of people that were on display um i don't know if it's just the economy that has 
reduce their ability to show up at Blade Show. But uh, give me just a second. Like, hold on one second. I'll, I'll give you a uh, look at the number of makers that you can encounter when you go to Blade Show. Be right back. All right, so when you go to Blade Show, this is sitting out front that you can pick up for everyone that goes in. It's going to tell you all about the show and all that kind of stuff. But what I want to show you is so they kind of give you a schedule and a map of who is where, right? So hold on just one second. And this is why this is the largest knife show in the world. So if you want to pause it, pause it. That's one page. Go to pause. Pause. And yes, don't wait. <laughs> Just wait. There's more. Here, if you want to pause. Not that you're going to obviously be able to go to the Cobb Galleria and see these in the next day or two because they're all gone. But I'm just showing you right now how many makers and companies are there. Right? Still going. Still going. Right? And then you get all these advertisements and stuff like that. But the number of makers and gigantic rooms that they are in. Um, but I'm just telling you, like, the magazine itself, really cool. It's giving you a lot of advertisements, maybe exposing you to makers or companies that you were not aware of. But the biggest thing, like, this company, like, I just got one of their knives. This one, I've already tested and reviewed, the Firecracker. Um, it's an amazing company, but at the same time, this gives you a chance to be exposed to companies, makers, materials, like you can actually put your hands on things to see if you like the materials or if you don't. Because uh, that's a big thing for a lot of people is they don't want to buy something unless they've actually touched it. Um, I've tested and reviewed knives and flashlights for so long that typically I can tell you just by reading what the materials are, if I'm going to like it or not, and how it will perform, just because I've done it for so long. But sometimes it's still nice to get your hands on it and talk to the people that actually make it and or sell it. Like, whatever, like, whoever the company comes from. So, I just want to give my little two cents. I love going to Blade Show, <clears throat> mostly because it's a chance for me to get together with friends, makers, that we live so far apart, this is the only time, like once a year, that we actually get together and hang out and <clears throat> just enjoy each other's company, trade ideas, talk junk, whole nine yards, right? But at the same time, it also gives me the ability as a reviewer to experience and get to know other makers and companies, materials, steels, like all that kind of stuff that's out there. Like I get to learn a lot while I'm there. And so, that's just all I wanted to say. Like, I went to Blade Show again. Absolutely loved it. Had a great time. Um, I'm going to try to get the information. There's a couple guys from Sweden that were at the table next to Clyde's. Um, and if you just saw my video I, I released a couple days ago, uh, he's from South Africa, but they're from Sweden. Side by side tables. Coolest guys ever. Went to lunch with them, hung out with them, like all throughout Blade Show, sitting and talking with them. Uh, like super, super cool guys. I want to help try to promote their work. And so I will try to leave a link in the description below. But I'm just telling you, guys, if you get a chance, it's always like the first weekend in June in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're living anywhere close to it, it is totally worth going if you have not gone. You don't have to go all three days because it's Friday through Sunday. Usually one full day will give you the exposure, knowledge, and or what do you say? 
entertainment value of watching people, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you like, at least going two days is probably optimal just because like one day you want to spend walking around, talking to makers, seeing who they are, checking out all the work, and then the second day actually going in deciding what you want to purchase, right? I mean, you have your major retailers there like Smoky Mountain Knife Works and companies like that that are not makers, they just resell whatever it is that they buy. I was like, and I'm not against that, like they have great prices, they sell a lot of great products. Um, but this is going to give you your opportunity to get your hands on products that you would never normally get to be able to get hands on with and also to be able to talk with makers and i'll tell you right now like they are more than happy to tell you how they make their knives what materials they use how long it took why they did what they did their philosophy of use for that knife that they're making or axe or sword or whatever um, so a lot of great opportunities and a lot of good fun and i think uh next year if you're even hesitating on thinking of going pull the trigger go it's totally worth it even if it's all, like i would just say at least do two days one to give yourself one to see and expose yourself to all of the makers and everything that they have out there and then the second day to go and potentially purchase whatever it is that you're looking for all right, guys, hopefully this will help you in your decision-making process of whether to go to Blade Show or not. I highly recommend it. Um, personally, it's kind of like a family reunion for me, but also a learning experience. But for you, it could be totally different. It could be a completely different but better experience. All right, guys, in the meantime, be prepared, have fun.